This is how I take my clients from not even being able to touch their toes to full weighted Jefferson curls using the core three method. This is for the homie Ryan Grips. We're gonna start with single leg Jefferson curls. For this demo, I'm gonna use the OSM training little slant board coming soon. Now, if you don't have a slant board, you could use a dumbbell or a yoga block, anything that's stable and that will elevate the ball of your foot. The first phase of the core three method is stability where we build a pain-free baseline. To achieve that, the goal in stability is to be able to do 10 full range single leg Jefferson curls where I'm touching the ground without bending my knee. Once we're able to do that, we could progress to the second phase, mobility. The intention in the mobility phase is to expand our pain-free range of motion. To do that, we're gonna progress to weighted single leg Jefferson curls. Here is to be able to do sets of 10 with 15% of your body weight going full range, meaning wrists past your toes. To do that, we're going to progress to the third phase, ability, where our intention is to strengthen your pain-free range of motion. In the ability phase, the goal is to be able to do full range weighted Jefferson curls with 25% of your body weight. Core three method works is that each phase builds on the previous. Went from build, building a pain-free baseline and stability, increasing that pain-free range of motion in mobility, and finally strengthening our pain-free range of motion in ability. In the core three method, each phase builds upon the last, making sure you effectively and safely reverse back pain and strength through mobility. Cal from OSM Training, your back pain coach. Watch my next video. Two common mistakes I see in the single leg Jefferson curls and say yes to summer.